Welcome back to Welcome Jokes back. You Pod. Welcome I've got back. winged eyeliner today, guys. I'm trying out things. I'm just practicing Fly my makeup. Like a bird, take to the sky. I sneezed I in the car. You now more than ever be my lashes started coming off of my face because they're from yesterday. So you see how you have full lashes? I sneezed in the car a bunch of times. So shout out to my pressed powder and my setting spray because there were tears on my face and there are no marks. But I sneezed and these yesterday lashes started to fall off of my face. All I have is the ends now. All I have is the ends. But that's okay, because my lashes is going to be hitting next time I put some lashes on. Yes. But these bitches is coming smooth the fuck off today, absolutely. <laughs> I sneezed, I said, what the fuck? Because when I started crying, I was like, no. Now my makeup's going to be fucked up before I get there. Yeah, that's but actually, all that. Shout out to Revolution Setting Spray and Ben Nye Pink Press it's not Powder. T- it's not moving, friend. It's not moving. There, You couldn't tell I've been crying. Yeah, it's not moving. Per. Per. Um, speaking of Mariah Carey, it's just so fun. I guess it's, I got, I got so many jokes of the week this week. Okay. <laughs> PSA, y'all, this will be our last episode before we go on hiatus. We're going on a short, little, tiny, tiny, short, little break. Because we're working on things. We're working on things, and we just need time to meet. We want to do something big for the 100th episode. So we're going to need a break before we do so that. So we can plan it. We, so we can plan we're it. We're really taking this break for y'all. You know how you're like, your mama used to take a vacation. It's like, because if I don't. If I don't. Ain't going to be no lunches packed. Ain't nobody getting to school. Ain't, ain't gonna be the last. Going no one's gonna be having a good time. Right. We need to be our best selves for y'all. We mm-hmm. have been consistent since January. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you have a problem with us taking a hiatus, then we'll girl we girl kiss my ass. don't know to tell you. So and if you tweet me, I can recommend you some podcasts to listen to. <laughs> right. I enjoy podcasts in my vehicle. So if you just need a little break, you need something similar. You need yeah. something adjacent. You need somebody to cheat on us with. I got you. Go ahead. Just but go we ahead. just need Take a break right now. To, it's going to be worth it in the end. We have some things cooking up for y'all, and you're going to love it. But we just need the time to do that. Because, again, we're doing this by our goddamn selves, y'all. Yes. I've like, been braiding my fingers to the fucking bone. Listen. I've not had time to wax no part of my body. My underarms look My underarms? Crazy. My Gucci. underarms look insane. So, yeah, we, we just need time to get ourselves. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get myself together. I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> I can't even get myself together. So, yeah, we got to get ourselves <laughs> together. So, please enjoy this. We're going to try to put as much fun in this episode in to this hold episode. y'all over. And we don't mean months. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't mean Yeah, because we still got, like, this is episode 95. We got yeah. 96, 7, 8, eight. 9. And then 100 going to 100. Gonna be special. 100 going to be special. But and we, we got need, other shit in the works, too. Can't say, can't say what it is. Can't say. Can't say. Can't say. But it's going to be great. So, we just need y'all to hold on with us for a second. Hold on. Don't tweet us. Don't be weird on our Twitter. Please. I'm just trying to I'm begging y'all like we said the last episode the Twitter the the jokes on you pod Twitter is us and you know what here's my thing because I can say some weird things everybody knows I can say very inappropriate things Fair. if you think would this be weird to say to these two people in real life like if you wouldn't say it if you wouldn't sit in the middle of us and say it here where you see us or are listening to us then don't say it. You know I what I'm saying? Like, I think people feel us. more comfortable tweeting it to the podcast page because in their mind, they can make it a face. I don't go on there. Bee. It's a hellscape. It is awful. I, I don't and, go on there. And now that we've gotten a little more popular, I get, not as much I get on my regular page, but I do get a general, like, mm-hmm. a, a nice amount of notifications from the Twitter page. And mm-hmm. I have to check it because it, it bothers me to see the, the number. The number. But, and that's not to speak ill on any of our listeners who are being amazing and tweet us compliments and tweet us that they listen to the podcast and live stream. We love that. We love that. All of that shit, keep doing it. But if you feel like it might be weird, chances are. It's weird. It's weird. And so, we're going to tell you Tighten up. He is going to tell weird. y'all if it's weird. Um, and also, I wouldn't look at my DMs and I saw some DMs from some of y'all. I genuinely do not be answering them. I will get around to the ones that I saw. But if you ever DM me personally and you don't get a response to it, I'm not ignoring you. I don't be in there for my own mental health. Okay? Because it is a dark, It's a dark, dark place, place in there. Um, you better off at me if it's not personal. 
What a uh, um, one for this episode? Ah, uh, child, not up here. This is old. But it was. It wasn't down here neither. So, so, um, so yes, I guess it's a good segue to what I wanted to talk about anyway mm-hmm. for my joke of the week. But it was, um, it was basically being normal on the internet. Like mm-hmm. there are just so many ways to be normal, and people just decide not to. Because I was right. just talking about this on Twitter. Because Twitter got re- the girls are fighting today on Twitter. I don't know if you saw what are they fighting about. The girls got to fighting today on Twitter, and I was like, what is happening? So I was of course braiding. What we happened? Were braiding. Um, yes. So basically, somebody somebody was saying the re- uh, origin of this conversation started because somebody was like oh like i would love to go to vegas for christmas or some shit but i got mm. kids or whatever and somebody was like well bitch can't be me because i'm the rich auntie i ain't got no goddamn kids i'm mm. gonna go to vegas whenever i want to and it was just like okay, okay. all right right and then someone was like you know i feel like the girlies who just be oh rich auntie rich auntie i don't want a kid i don't want a partner and like she was basically saying like some people like overcompensating for that and mm-hmm. it's like some, you want partnership in a child but mm-hmm. you're kind of overcompensating and then it turned into well bitch you just mad because you got a bunch of baby daddies and you, you mad at, and it's just like everyone's doing a lot and everybody's right and everybody's wrong stop 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 but it. it got it got really really like everyone and then you know we get to the bitches and hoes part of the segment mm-hmm. it's just like we we've, we've gone too far and I've just been observing the girls on Twitter and it's just like what's going on the, first of all. I, you know I can be very mean and nasty. Same. And I same. stand up in it that I can be a mean, nasty Absolutely. bitch. I've started to want to kind of like take a step back from Twitter Absolutely. because it's making me mean. It's make some of the yes. things because you see some shit said to you or you see some shit being discussed that as a chronically online person, you feel like you just can't let it pass. Right. You have to comment on it. But the bitches are so mean that you're like, now I got to step my mean up and I got to be as mean as the bitches are being. And then it's even weirder because, OK, the interaction I had on Friday. My shorts are like maternity shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this interaction on Friday was just so weird. It was just really disturbed my spirit. Like I was really like not like mad, but I was just like, Ugh. like I was just like so icked mm-hmm. out about it. So mm-hmm. I've been doing like my videos have always been silly. Mm-hmm. They've always been silly, but since I've, I've had You're to a pi- silly girl. I'm a silly bitch. Silly I've time. had to pivot because of the strike because so many of my videos are based on TV and film. Mm-hmm. So I can't do TV and film no more. So I'm just making shit up. I like doing the beard filter. It's funny to me. It is. I think it's funny. I think it's great. So I've been doing different shit, and I had posted one like, oh, romantic comedies be like. Right, mm-hmm. silly ass video because all my videos are silly. I thought it was funny. I thought it was very funny. I need to start answering you in that group because I laugh and then put my phone down. And then I'd be like, <laughs> No, it's, it's funny. So yeah, and and I again before I post any video, I send it to you. I send mm-hmm. it to Rock. I send it to Rita. I send mm-hmm. it to that boy. Mm-hmm. And if it's really funny, I might even send it to my mom and my sisters. Oh. And if I enjoy it, right? Like <laughs> before I even post it, I need mm-hmm. that stamp of no, yes, this is funny because mm-hmm. before, because one time that boy was like. This ain't it. And I was like, you know and what? And you need but, people like that to tell you And you, you need stuff. somebody like yeah. that to tell you. So I posted a video. I think it's hilarious. And someone like reposted like a gif, like a gif. And I'm like, mm-hmm. question mark. Like, let's, let's see. Mm-hmm. And anytime someone does something like that, I always ask. I always press it because what? Because what? And also, it's mean. It's mean. So, it's mean. Okay. So that happens. I go back. I'm like, she never answered me. So I go back to my reply and click on her page because I don't know who this person is for real. Right. Like, people just be tweeting me. And she retweets her own tweet from August saying, y'all faves is running out of material or something like she need to give it up. Her, buddies, her videos ain't funny no more. You can tell. It's like, I like her, but it just seems like her videos. It was some shit she said. But I saw that bullshit. Like, I'm not funny no more or something like that. And I'm just like, because when I asked you, instead of answering me, you go retweet it on your own page. Because hoes are pussy. Because you pussy. Bitches are pussy. Because I, I t- re- replied to her twice. And mm-hmm. then I said, oh, this is some hater shit. Like, supreme hater shit. Mm-hmm. And it's also very bold. Because I would I would rather die than public hate on a bitch like this. And it's always the bitches. You know, and I'm not trying to be funny. Everybody's not creative. Everybody's not an artist. Everybody's not funny. Mm-hmm. Everybody does not have the gall and gumption to step out and create things or be on a platform of any kind. Yeah. I won't be taking shit. From you bitches who do nothing. Who do absolutely, who do absolutely nothing. nothing. You nothing don't crochet. Remarkable. You don't basket weave. You don't paint. <laughs> you don't MUA. You don't braid. You don't, you don't do, do nothing. You ain't got an etch a sketch. You ain't got shit. You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing that requires you to be courageous and, you and bold. And you sit on your iPhone fucking nine. She probably sits somewhere with an about- iPad and is 150 years old probably. <laughs> and I just... I was like, okay, what, the, what is this about? Because it's like, this is weird, and it's coming out of nowhere. And then my spirit told me, search your name on her page. The day before she said that about me, that y'all fave, y'all mm-hmm. fave, she was tweeting me, kick in. When I did the, it was like when I posted about, and it's so funny because when I replied to that dude saying that all food is not good, she was like, you know people are going to be contrarian, blah, blah, blah. So for the very next day for you to do the exact same thing I was just fucking talking about, 
Remember when I said I like mm-hmm. food and somebody was like, not mm-hmm. all food or some shit? Mm-hmm. She was commenting on that. I'm like, what is... But see, that's the thing about it. I don't have a problem with people critiquing my art. I think I said that when Kev was here. I want art that I, people have something to say about. I don't mind that. Saying I'm not funny is subjective. Maybe it's not true. It's like, granted, I've been a creative funk since mm-hmm. this... I've been kind of fucking sad since the strike. Yeah. So it's like, is it going to be fucking T-shirt Hogwarts? No. That was like my crown jewel. I mm-hmm. did that shit low-key on accident. But I'm having a fucking good time, and I really don't bother nobody. Mm-hmm. So you to come out of here. So I said, check these tweets, and I have not replied to you any of these times, and you never got followed back. So I'm like, is this what it really is? Because when I dig deep into these skirmishes for the Twitter girlies, mm-hmm. it'd be unrequited follows. I never followed you back. I never replied to you. I mm-hmm. never really talked to you. Is this what this is about? I mean, I don't. I about? think people are genuinely just nasty. Sometimes it's not even that deep. I like I said, I want work that people comment about. I want work that people which critique, is fair, yeah. And I think that that's fair. But if you cannot say it with your chest to me oh. about my art, what did the cherry on top was what? Like, can y'all guess who? So you're in you're body. fucking free. <laughs> that's what did it. That's honestly, it was like, if the bitch not funny, the bitch not funny. If I'm not funny to you, fair. Then that's fine. Because there's plenty of people I don't think it's funny. And they still not arenas. Who gives a fuck if I think you're funny or not? Right. But My to be like, oh, oh that y'all fave ain't funny. Right. Anybody? Anyone? Because you Can want y'all guess some who? attention. Anyone? You, you want, want attention. some attention. You want some engagement. And you want to make points and key keys and get likes and clickies and mm-hmm. retweets off the back of somebody who actually is doing work. Anything. That's, that's insane. I don't appreciate that shit. And the recruiting other bitches to hate, it was, just, was that was what confirmed it as hate for me. Because it's like, if you just didn't think it was funny and let her do that, I could have accepted that. Right. And like, you know what? Let me get back to the drawing board, bitch. You right, friend. I need to do better. Because, mm-hmm. bitch, I'm, I'm shooting skates with Snapchat filter on my phone. Not said anything. Leave it in a group you chat. You could have simply shut the fuck up. You could have, but you decided to not be. Um, I had a normal experience today, which is, very, I mean, the other day, which was great. Shout out to people being normal. Shout out to people being normal. Uh, uh, very rare, very rare being normal. So I guess this is a transition to my joke of the week because um, I went, so funny as fun, funny as shit. My mom was like, hey, girl, my church going to Savannah. We're going to have a good time this week. And I said, girl, I want to go. Mm-hmm. They did a, a day trip to Savannah mm-hmm. with her church. And I was like, well, I'm going. Mm-hmm. And I brought me a friend. So I brought my line sister with me. And she had my auntie with her. That's your problem. Why you ask me if I want to go? Well, you always have so much to do. I'm not good enough for church. I embarrass you with the Jesus, with the Christians? No, I just I'm didn't fucking ask with you. Because you, you, you said yourself. you had all these things to do this I'm weekend. I'm fucking with you. Um, but, yeah, so I brought my line sister with me. And I brought my, my auntie was there. And... I didn't realize that it was the seniors ministry. <laughs> it was the oldest people I have ever seen in my life. And it was it was in a cute way, but like these are real old people. Like they are old for real. So we woke up at like four o'clock in the morning Saturday, got on a bus, chartered the bus to Savannah, slept the whole way there. It was great. We walked the river walk and, and ate and it was just great it was a great That's day beautiful. and we went to we snuck off because my mom was wrangling all the old people we we're like you have fun we're gonna go we're gonna go we took auntie with us fun auntie the one and i like not no she's on my dad's side this okay. is my mom's sister did you okay. meet no she wasn't at christmas this mm-hmm. year she went on a cruise but my, my young fun delta auntie okay. this is who i was with and she hung out with me and my line sister just we all besties for the resties mm-hmm. we snuck to wet willies and fun. We had a good time. And the waitress, shout out to the waitress. I don't know if you listen to podcasts, but she was like, wait a minute, are you male? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh my God. And it was like a normal, fun fangirl moment. I was like, thank you. And she sat us and she was that waitress. She was like, hey, I'm just trying to act normal. Like, I'm not trying to weird you out. I'm like, oh, girl, it's fine. She's like, yeah, and I was going to tweet you, but I know how you feel about your privacy. And I was like, that's beautiful. Because weird bitch was like, girl, guess who I see down to the wet willies on Savannah? Please. Please. I bet, you know what? Now I've got my joke of the week. I didn't have one. It was so normal, I and I really appreciated that. So shout out to Sis. I forgot to get her name, but we love you. Burm, burm, burm. I couldn't finish my daiquiri. Oh, that's I got like so many, so many things I've had. I got like hella jokes, so that's gonna hold y'all over. Mm-hmm. Um, I finished my antibiotics. <laughs> so okay, if y'all remember last week when I said that my booty was so big that it was making my back hurt. Turns out that I had a UTI, and if you have a UTI, it will cause back pain because that's where your kidneys are. And my mom had said that. I was like, shut up, you know nothing. I ended up having to go to the doctor, and the doctor was like, no, your back probably hurting because you have I a UTI. I thought your kidneys was in the front. No, the kidneys are in your back. Get out of town. Kidneys are in your back. Okay. Yeah. Um, see, I know science stuff. I don't know geography, but science, mm-hmm. I be knowing. Okay. Kidneys are back here, so it was hurting my back. And then I also, because I was doing expletives in the hot tub in mm-hmm. Mexico, mm-hmm. it also gave me the most raging case of BV I have had in a while. Raging wine. Cajun? Don't talk to me anymore. Ra- me and you're finished. I was a raging case of, but raging Cajun. Oh, I thought you said, honestly, I thought you called your vagina. The title, <laughs> Raging Cajun. Raging <laughs> Cajun. The coochie was kind of spicy. So you know what? Yeah, let's call it that. 
It was bad, so I had to take antibiotics. It was mm-hmm. a low moment. Honestly, anytime, that's why I tweeted, like, everybody a thug to that um, speculum come out. Mm-hmm. Because I thought it was going to be a regular. I thought I was going to have a good, wholesome time. She's like, I'm going to have to swab you. And I was like, please, oh, Jesus Christ, please. I'll do anything. <laughs> please do not swab <laughs> me. It was like, doom, doom. She's getting out the leg steps. Doom, 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 doom. And it's just a vulnerable vulnerable position because Scoot you want to have for your me. legs that open for fun. Like, once you're in stirrups for any reason, it's not a good time. Once the stirrups come out and that speculum gets the, the click, she's like, I'm going to need you to relax. I am relaxed. And, you know, doctors, come up with something else for that. <laughs> Please. Has science not, it hurts. It's so dumb. Science hasn't improved in all these years. It's torture. It's torture. It's a torture device. And my last joke of the week is... My hair is so heat damaged. Um, you look in Puerto Rican. It's just, it's just like, hey, we're not going to puff anymore. That's, we're not doing puffs no more. We're just going to string up. That's the best we can do. Mm-hmm. And um, I see it. It don't look bad. It's just different. It's a different look on you. It's just not what my hair usually does. But usually, you had your hair like that before. And I was like, hmm, new curl pattern. It was a, yeah, I think between, I think the color, because I actually had to use bleach at some point during mm-hmm. the color, but I was wanding my hair so much with that um, sew-in. Mm-hmm. My hair's like, girl, I just... Give, give it up. Give it up, delicious. It up. You look like a man. And mm-hmm. uh, I watched Flavor of Love yesterday. That TV ain't never going to be that good again. It, but you know what? It's it's too much. It, we flew too close to the sun. We did. TV. It was, it was too Some young. of that shit shouldn't have been on TV. Some of that shit we shouldn't have seen uh, at that age. And that's just what it is. Um, but I enjoy a good rewatch of Flavor of Love. And I'm going to rewatch Love and Hip Hop ATL because I saw a clip of uh, Scrappy Mama... And uh, Erica Mama, where Erica Mama come down and said, she ain't talking about that. She ain't talking about that. Yes. She ain't talking about that. She and she goes, she don't talk that lady. I think she's been on drugs. And then Mama D gonna tell the lady, smoke a straight shooter, which is crack, I think. That's so mean. It's so mean. Erica, Erica Mama was all right. I, somebody was on, I think that's why she told her to smoke a sh- straight shooter. I think she was on drugs. Erica, I'm not talking shit about your mom. That is what I understand it to be. Her mama's mignon, right? Mignon. 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 Like filet. Filet mignon. Mignon. I saw a couple of black ladies named Mignon. I don't know why. I got an auntie. I got an auntie Mignon, actually. Hmm. See? I that wonder was, where that came I think from. Before we got started getting into the Isha's, I think like. French. We were in France. French. Monique. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, um, my joke of the week, uh, and this is just in general, one, I don't have a problem with any of it at all. I've been so blessed. And I feel so much gratitude in my heart for everybody who watches the podcast that has come to me to get their hair braided and is now my client. That means so much to me that, like, I came from your speakers and your YouTube and now you are with me and getting your hair braided. I love that. Everybody is, in which I should have, like, framed it in a way that people would feel more comfortable. It's okay to tell me beforehand that you know me from the podcast because it makes my heart jump each time <laughs> when somebody is sitting in my chair and I'll be like, oh yeah, I do this and I have a podcast and they're like, I know. And I'm like, ah! I'm like, please! So please just, if you want to put it, because I got a book in site, if you want to put it in your notes, like, hey girl, I know just you from the podcast. Yeah. Or when I text you, like, hey friend, like I know you from the podcast. Please tell me, because once you're sitting in my living room with me and my dog, and then you're like, I listen to the podcast. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, <laughs> so please just tell yeah. me, because the other day I had a client, um, shout out Courtney. Courtney came and got her hair done by me. And she, I was in the middle of doing her hair. I said something about the podcast. And she was like, I listen to the podcast. I don't know what it is that makes my heart drop about that, but it does. Mm-hmm. So just tell me ahead of time. I feel like... I feel like my privacy has been violated, although I purposely broadcast mm-hmm. all my business to thousands of strangers every week. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, oh my God, so you know that time I told that story about me having yeah. discharge on my panties and shit. Like, yeah. you know, we, we yeah. get on here and say the ickiest the stuff. stuff. And yeah. I think that's the other thing, too, that we have to understand because oh, I still so struggle actually. with this because we get in here, it's really just me, you, and Dexter here most of the time, mm-hmm. and he's not listening to shit we're saying. No, not at all. Because he would have retained it by now. But <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I want y'all to know Dexter has learned nothing. nothing. Dexter's Dexter has learned. learned. I've never seen anybody more ardently committed do, 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 do. to learning jack <laughs> shit. And we, we love the boy. He do not give up. Fuck. He don't give he a fucking ass. He don't oh give a God. damn about what we here talking about. Oh, shit. Sorry. That was a tangent, but that boy don't. <laughs> he don't like <laughs> nothing. Every time I get on Facebook, I just be like, oh, Dexter. According to him, we not talking about Nate. Dang. Nate. We not talking she about Nate. She ain't talking about Nate. She ain't talking about Nate. <laughs> she ain't talking about Nate. But, um, 
But yeah, like yeah. I, I come in here, I just I'll be talking to Tyler for two hours, thinking it's just us, and I forgot that people. And then we're telling this to other people. We're telling this to other people, and that's probably not the best. But that's why y'all here anyway. Um, I cannot find this shit. Any- I don't know. Oh, because we never finished it. I we started it. Where is it? I have a started one. Where? In my personal notes, but it's not. It don't. It really don't have nothing on it. Paste it into here. So okay, it doesn't. Ha- it doesn't have anything on it. That's weird. Maybe we just started from the dome. I think we didn't do it. I think oh, we just started. I think we just did it. Okay. okay. So cool. we, we have recorded it. this episode already, but it messed it got up. Fucked up. It got fucked up. The file got fucked up, so we haven't re-recorded it. But mm-hmm. we had something really funny. I showed you my coochie. Don't show me it I again. showed you. A, I showed her my coochie last don't time. Don't show me it again. And Not like she didn't bust it open here live. It was on the phone. Because I, I don't know what we were talking about. Oh, I think I was talking about. You said, about- you said that no. your pussy looked like Homer Simpson's mouth. And I will never forget it. It is etched into my brain. It does look like Homer Simpson. So I was telling her that because I think the story then was that my coochie was acting up then. I didn't have a full diagnosis at the Mm -hmm. moment. But then when I went down to the doctor and now I have a full diagnosis. So it's still the same joke, technically. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining to her that I have a Homer Simpson looking coochie. And she was like, what? So I was like, I will show you the coochie. One day I'm going to catch you off guard and you're going to see my hairy beaver. Mm -hmm. I like coochies. No, you don't. Not like in that. Okay. No, you don't. I don't mind looking at coochies. Okay. You have a closed one, right? Is it closed or is it open? Um, it's kind of like, you know how, it's kind of like, you eat muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's muscles? It's kind of like the, black the, one, the one that be in the paella. It's not that color, but. Yeah, the, the, the shell yeah. kind of look like So this. you know how it be closed on one end and then kind of, kind of open on the other? Okay. That's, it look like this. It, well, that's the, that's the view. This the back part where my booty hole at though. Okay, that's so, the bottom. So this more, the clit area. This the so, hood. So 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 yeah, this the hood, and then ooh, this is intimate. <laughs> and then this the bottom part. It's like a little muscle. Okay. Yeah. See, but mine is like this. Mm-mm. I'd get no peace if my lips were touching all day like that. In no, the back. but honestly, it is so like sometimes they be getting stuck. Like if it's like a hot day and I got a little well, sweat or a little. You know, you know how you put on too much lip gloss and you. You gotta pull your lips together and pull them apart. That's how my I mean, friend was sometimes like, you go Ooh. over your lips and you we'll separate. Move. <laughs> Move. They be getting stuck. It is so uncomfortable. It's very and uncomfortable. you can't, it's no way to really, sometimes I be having to like just move the no, whole No, booty I be having to like sit in, on planes. <laughs> the way, first of all, anybody who's ever sat next to me on a plane, which is so funny as this platform grows, because I know people are like, that's the girl that pulled her booty cheeks apart on the plane. I be having next to pull my booty cheek. I be having to just go in and I just. I be having to separate. On planes, he separate my ass cheeks and make a point to keep them bitches separated. Because <laughs> you, you, you got to sometimes don't. like sit this and then you kind of got to slide. Because you got plain sit. ass after. <laughs> Especially if it's a long flight, you got plain for ass. For me, it's just flight one ass. long crack. It's just one continuous crack for me. I don't understand that. What are you saying to me? So, <laughs> literally <laughs> like my coochie because it's closed. It's just coochie crack and like somebody it, drew it it just fully just continues into my butt crack into up here that's so it's just a, one that's insane I, i'm like a barbie doll there's distinctions there's there's mine is in pieces it's sections <laughs> it's all one thing for me that's crazy and that may be partly partly why my coochie always has problems because it it's might connected be. to my ass so well yeah it's just it literally just one I big lip. stop wearing thongs did you know that may be why i don't like thongs. then when you wear thongs and i it makes sense now that i heard it mind you i don't really wear panties like that but if i have to wear like something like with a split or something like that i throw on a thong and go about my day man did you know that the gynecologists say that when you wear thongs essentially you are just flossing ass matter to your vagina all day that makes total sense. you are just flossing butt particles from the back to the, to the front. front all day long because it's like a highway you got an i-20 from your asshole and to your that, when i got that visual of just booty matter <laughs> and mind you i got a clean ass <laughs> but it's everybody has ass it's ass, ass it's shenanigans ass. when just that ass stuff just going to my coochie hole i said <laughs> no <laughs> i'm all done so i've retired thongs and now I understand why older black ladies wear big ass panties all That's the time. That's why I've been a lot more comfortable. Look, look at my panties. I got on big panties too. Look how far up they come. Well, I ain't got them all. You got on them heavy duty boys. Wow. I just be tucking them under my pants. Bitch. She said, look. <laughs> Look at my I can't take them into my clothes because they come higher than my pants Ooh. most of the time. My, I, you 
usually don't wear panties, but as I age, my I coochie can't. getting wetter, and I have to wear panties now. I can't. I, I've never been a no panty kind of girl, and I, if I did, my one of my bad bitch line sisters taught me if you don't wear panties to put like a light tampon on to catch any of the drippage and droppage. I can't walk around with no tampon on for no reason all day though. I like when you you barely feel the light ones. Um, no, no. But no, my privates are so weird, and I think that may be like I've never really met any other coochies before, mm-hmm. like. Me coming to terms with that I'm actually straight in the past year is really devastating to me. Like, honestly. Why is it de- well, not devastating. It is devastating to be attracted to men. Yeah, like, I thought, like, I was yeah. going to, at some point in my 20s, go into my gay era, and it's just not happening. And anytime I get in the, the situation with me to be gay, it just, I'm just like, I feel nothing. And I just can't go into it. I was one of my homegirls about her straight era. And um, I think sometimes with the girlies, not, not projecting and saying this is you, but I think sometimes with the girlies, it's more so that they, for some reason or another, have been socialized that that's just not okay. So they just never get past it and never be gay. Like, they think women are beautiful and have an attraction to women. They just can never act on it for whatever they've experienced, been taught, whatever the fuck. They just can't get into it. Like, it's like a mental block that this is not some shit that I'm supposed to be, to be doing. doing. I think yeah. even with that, I don't know if it's like... My back feel like somebody been chewing on it, bitch. Oh, my God. Like, when it's alone, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, it's gay, pussy, pussy, gay, pussy. And it's like, when I'm in, like, I go to, I don't know, gay town or something, I'm just like, dang, I, I would love to give out some pussy. I just, I haven't been moved yet. And that makes me sad. I don't, I don't know. know. I think that a lot of straight girls watch uh, gay, porn. gay porn because it's not some weirdo with Timberlands and, you know, a backwards fitted yeah, to bitch, give fuck me that. you with your head in the microwave. Like, it's. <laughs> the head in the microwave is I'm crazy. just saying, like, it's, like, normal. You know what I'm saying? Slamming like, the door. Yeah, yeah, bitch, yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, uh, bitch. Uh, yeah, uh, bitch. Uh, so I think like, the uh, absence of men makes it feel safer. Maybe um, that's what, what it is. But it's like, I don't know. I, always I don't like thought, to see men have sex unless they're having sex with, with me. me. And sometimes I close my eyes. Like, yeah. sometimes I don't need to see it. That's deep. I'm just saying, and I know that some of that is my own issues, but, like, sometimes. Sometimes. I'm just, I don't want to look. First of all, it's so funny because. I was talking to um, a family member, I won't say who, but I was talking to a family member about the fact that I genuinely just, like, enjoy depriving men of pleasure. (laughs) And I know that, like, sex, when men look at you in your face, it does a thing for them. So sometimes, if I'm just being petty, I'll close my face. Or I'll put (laughs) a pillow over the top of my face. You will not enjoy yourself at my expense in this way. But I need to go, when I say I need to go back to that lady, lady, when I say I cannot wait to get back in therapy, (laughs) Oh my God! Because your bitch is fucked up. You gotta unpack some shit. I gotta unpack. Honestly, some, I knew it when I watched that episode with Angel. I watched it back. I was like, Oh no, you, yo ass, yo ass, yo ass. ass. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you need no, therapy. I need to go back and I, think 100%. and I think that's fair. I'm in therapy yeah. now, and I'm in, a, I'm in a much better place. But like, I'm almost getting too healed because he was like, Yeah, so let's think of different. What's our next steps? And, and I was like, You think you think you're not gonna see me every Wednesday? <laughs> I find some new shit to unearth. <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga. We gonna talk every week, mm. and we gonna figure it out. You done made you a friend. I done made, I know. I was like, no, nah, mm. no, nah, I like you now. We gotta mm. sit and talk. But I do, I do realize I need to unpack some things too because I saw some shit. I'm not a weirdo, so I didn't say anything weird on mm-hmm. the tweet. Mm-hmm. But did you see the tweet today? And this girl, well, you've been off off the grid today. This we really girl had to do this topic. We could just talk. We I'm could just talk. Blast. I'm having fun. Are y'all having a blast? Because we could just talk. No, like Dora, are you having fun? Are you having fun? We are too. Yes. No, this girl had um, took her man to his very first NFL game, and he mm-hmm. was so happy and so excited. And he had his favorite player's jersey, and he had the favorite jersey, and he got it signed. Mm-hmm. And he, the childlike joy that he was experiencing, mm-hmm. he was so happy. And it infuriated me. And I was like, how dare a nigga ever be this happy in somebody's presence? I would die if I ever made a man this happy. And I was just like, you are not okay. It's, but see, the thing about me is, and this is for the men in my personal life and men on the internet, and men I just do not know. Whenever I see men enjoying themselves, it's less that I don't feel like you don't deserve to enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. I feel like instead, you should be in therapy. <clears throat> just like whatever you're doing. You need to be doing some shadow work. This and not the TikTok journal. Not that journal. You need to, we're not buying the shadow I'm work not journal. Buying it we're TikTok. not buying it TikTok. But that's that's just how I feel because when I saw Offset at his little sleepover. That nigga who had the time of his and now that I enjoyed. He has it made me so happy because it did make me happy. I think of the men in my life sometimes, and this is gonna sound like I'm being kind about men. I'm not. This is still a criticism. <laughs> I think of the men in my life, and I'm like, if you could just have if that's what we mean by boys will be boys and if that. men will lean into that energy 
everybody what everybody was having a great time. They I'm sure they was in there funky and musty. They was dancing and shit, yeah. smoking, playing the game. They were having they so were having much a goddamn fun. blast. I want that for all men so you can stop being weird to, to us. us. Like but they won't do that because they think they're gonna be gay. They think they're gonna get in that booty hole that sleepover, like, and that's why you don't want to go. Booty holes ain't gotta be involved. Y'all can just go play that game. Put and some play. tape over it if you think you want. <laughs> A tub stopper on your booty hole. <laughs> put a wine stopper in there if you're scared. Put a little piece of bubble gum so they know. <laughs> Some play doh. <laughs> Some masking Ooh, tape over the booty hole. Just a little piece of painter tape right over your booty hole so if someone gets there, they know this is close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm here to have fun. Don't touch my booty. No, <laughs> get out of here. Because, <laughs> like, I go to girls' sleepovers because I'm bi. I go to girls' sleepovers not scared that things are going to get gay. I think straight girls don't give a fuck if they go to sleepover. If it gets gay, it gets gay. If it gets gay. Honestly, if like, it gets gay, we just got gay. Yeah, we just got gay. What's next? <laughs> Hand Who's making the pizza roll? rolls? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. Pour me up. I want them glass of wine. Okay, who cares? Ooh. But no, and another thing to the Offset thing is like, I was just saying like, Offset seems to have a really, really great personality. So much personal He's Sagittarius. Growth, and I wish he could have leaned more into that. We didn't know this nigga could moonwalk when fucking, um, fucking Hannah Montana came out. Mm-hmm. Came out the, Hannah Montana. Hannah I would have like, had this would so fucking fun. They should have let him be himself too. That would have elevated that group. And they like, would have been for real, been the rap destiny child. No, honestly, when I tweeted, I was like, you know, I wish they would have leaned more than this into me in the Migos era. They was like, oh, you you must ain't been there. You ain't know. And, but first of all, I am from Atlanta. Okay, we like, from we're from Atlanta. We're from here. We're I was here. Here. I was in college when they dropped, so I was there. Oh, he was in jail. Offset was not in jail that long. He was he in jail was. for like a year tops, I yeah. think. 2014, he mm-hmm. was in jail, but he was not in jail that long. So I was like, no, they could have been more cool. And like, mm-hmm. I think they were trying to come off so hard all the time. First of all, these niggas was Nor- from Norcross. Yeah. The North is Norcross. Norcross. It's Norcross. It is. Oh, excuse me. Like, yes. not saying they didn't shenan and get into felonious I'm sure activity. Did. I'm sure they did, but it's Norcross. It's only so much shenanigans you can do in Norcross. in Norcross. Right. So it's like they had to be so hard and thug and fight everybody all the time. It's like we could have just been having a good time. But I went back and listened to No Label too. No two. label two. And just from a, a consumer perspective, that fucking album that mix tape was, insane. was insane. And we don't give, we give the Migos their flowers, but not as much as we should. They I, completely changed the genre. I went back and, li- first of all, funny for Offset to, she's a stripper, naked, naked dancing, dancing, but she begging, begging me to wife. And guess who you are? Guess who you married to? A fun, kind, the hilarious best stripper. Ever. stripper. Oh, my God. But anyway, I love when that happens to rappers, when they talk shit on their songs, and then they end up doing opposite, but whatever. Guess who got wiped? And guess who, who you not leaving? Period. That one. Um, But I listened to Freak No More, a masterpiece. Freak No More. To be, and it's like, listen, we always talk I about Jim. I was in the club. We were in the club. We were, I, I mean, outside. At that time in my life, I was more outside than, than I was, was inside. inside. I went home to sleep. And study and wash my ass. And then get right back and out. And then got right back to it. I, you and ever been high and drunk and freak no more came out? <sighs> you lose vertebrae in your spine. And that's when, when the club was, it was like there were sections, but there was also still a dance floor. Now there's no dance floor We all. implore y'all to bring back dancing. Please. Please. We used to have someone, that, that mixtape came out at the end of junior year. I, I'll never forget because me and my line sisters were on the way to a pool party. Mm-hmm. And that's when Handsome and Wealthy was hot. Handsome and Don't Wealthy. Don't know why it came. Don't it made me feel handsome and wealthy. Don't know why I came. We used fucking Hannah Montana in our step show. All the fraternities were uh, goddamn strolling to Hannah Montana. As you should. Yeah. I remember, I used to get really irritated. So when I was at Georgia State, Plaza, which is like, um, what they call it at your school? Set Friday. It's like Set Friday like at, at uh, Georgia State. Mm-hmm. And it was in the middle of where the library was and all of the important buildings. So like that shit would be happening and I would have to get to class. <laughs> and I used to be irritated about it at the time. And I have to go back on my phone and like find videos. But like it was like a club in the middle of middle of, the day. of the day in school. And mind you, I'm trying to study. I 
a very studious I just came bitch. to study for y'all. I just can't, came oh. to study. That's it. But, like, you see 800 niggas with different colored clothes on, fucking pop locking and shit. Uh, people selling Black Lives Matter t-shirts and talking to you about not eating meat. And it's just, it, it was just. It's chaos. Chaos. And it was beautiful. It was, um, it was just. I time. haven't had that kind of fun. That's why I'd be, like, so so crackheady about going to Deeper because that's the time that I'd be having in there. It's really nowhere to sit. People get sections to sit when they feel woozy. Like, they don't really be in but there. But everyone's having a good everybody's time. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's having a, f- a fun time. Everybody's fucked up. Like, I don't know. We should be getting into Deeper for free at this point. because We, we should. Y'all we be giving y'all pub. I'm actually uh, going to add y'all. We're going to clip this, and I'm going to add y'all. And we're going to some chicken. We should be getting Because we be having every, a guy. Every first Friday. Every, every time. We should be getting every that bitch for free. But no, just that era. That's where Waffle House video came from. The, yeah, we had yeah. even deeper. Honestly, we could have stayed at 30 more minutes. Honestly, my feet were kind of hurting, but we could have. I was drunk. I, I was, was also drunk, though. I was drunk, and then it was How also. How did I get home? Oh, Rita drove. Yes. Which, we, we just should have drove either. <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone we don't drunk that. Driving. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't fucking don't, do that. Don't do that shit. It's stupid. D- that's some dumb ass that's shit. some dumb ass shit. Don't do dumb that. Dumb bitches always want to drink and drive. Ooh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Um, Can you just think about all the times you don't know how you made it home when you woke up home? Let me explain something to you. So let me tell you about a little birth. I've had two birthdays, mind you. We all know that I'm honest about having a problem with alcohol. Yes. So please do not tweet me or DM me asking me, "Am I okay?" I'm working no. through it. I'm working on it. No, I'm not well. I say that often. Whatever. So one birthday, bitch. I um don't know where I went for my birthday. Oh, that's when I used to go to that Christmas gala all the time and just invite people to come. Oh, from that one organization yeah. that's in Atlanta. Yeah, redacted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I used to go because I like to put on gowns. I like to do shit. So um, I remember one birthday, I drove my, that car that I have now. I got fixed. You would have never known it. It was so close to being total, bitch. And now that I done got my money from the insurance company, I'm coming up off the Howell Mill exit trying to take Rodney home. And this is why now I Uber. Like, I was a young, dumb bitch at the time. But now, like, my ass going to Uber. I'm sleeping in the fucking parking lot. I'm just not driving my car. So, um, I come up out the Howell Mill exit, and I overshot that bitch, and my car got the, I wonder if you know, when you live in Tokyo, when you see me, you got the Tokyo drip <laughs> She's got the Tokyo And I hit, if you look at the Howell Mill exit, I think it's still fucked up, and that's from my car. If you look at the Howell Mill exit, where you turn left to go to that Kroger and that Ulta and all yeah, that shit no, over there, my car said, my head hit the wall. Boom. <laughs> And so I was so fucked up, which I know is terrible, that I told Rodney, I said, ooh, we can make it home. And he was like, because he was drunk. He was like, you got it. I scraped my front tire. It was sparking down the street. <laughs> and I said, what I can't do is call the police because I'm clearly intoxicated. What I can't do is call my family because they gonna be I don't, your ass. I don't no, I would never justify anybody putting their hands on me. My family would have kicked my ass. If they had known what happened tonight. I drove it back to where Rodney was saying. I woke up in the morning feeling fresh and new. I totally forgot it happened. <laughs> he walked out. I, walked out. I said, Rodney, I'm finna go home. He said, okay. <laughs> and he looked at me like he knew something that I didn't. And <laughs> I was sure like, you know? what's up? What's wrong? So I'm finna go. He was like, all right. I went outside. I said, oh, hell no. Who my, my car? <laughs> I said, what happened? My car was like this. <laughs> In the parking lot. Was <laughs> that meme of Squidward with Squidward? <laughs> it was all fucked up. I said, oh, my God. So then the next year, I said, okay, I'm going to Uber to and from this goddamn party. So it, um, I was sad. I don't know what was going on with me relationship-wise, but I was sad. Something happened where I felt like I was I was with friends, but I ended up feeling by myself. Like, I ended up feeling third wheelie, which was never great. A girl spat on me. And then I'm sorry. a girl spat on me at this thing, which I will never, ever, ever forget. And my homeboy, Kyrie, is one of the gentlest souls I've ever met in all my life. And we don't hang. We may have hung out for real like three or four times, but we know each other like you know, we know each other because we used to, like have the same group of friends. And um, on the dance floor, I watched her spit on me. I watched it happen, and she disguised it as a laugh, like a spit take. She just got, but she spit on me. So I looked around to see if anybody else saw it. He was the only person who saw it. She didn't apologize. She didn't check on me, which that's how I know you did it on purpose. She didn't check in. Hey, baby, how much spit was it? It was a, it a was, My dress was wet. My left titty. Oh, she spit her dr- drink she spit on her you. her drink. My neck and my titty were slobbery. They were wet. So I looked, I calmly started to take off my earrings. I got my earrings in my purse. He grabbed my hand like, mister, 
Like from color purple. He said, Tyler, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I mean, not a joke. He was like, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't. He was like, look, she got me too. Look, I got, because he did have a little spit on him too. He's like, I got hit. I got See, hit. Stop. It, we all spit on him. So I was like, I'm going to beat her ass. And he was like, no, you're not. It's fine. It was a mistake. She's a terrible person. Let it go. So I did. We her. But after that, I had nowhere to put that energy that I had been spit on. So I just got drunk. drunk. I just got fucked up. I. Uh, went, I knew an Uber to Waffle House, and that's something. If you we ever out, I be want to go to Waffle House. I will get an Uber and change. I love Waffle House. I'll go to Waffle House. So I went, it just be cold I, in I there. I do remember getting to. Oh, sorry, getting you must to. Fit on me? No, I'm sorry. She gonna do hit me too. <laughs> I remember getting to the Waffle House, and then I woke up in my bed the next morning, and I was like, "How did I get here?" This, I was staying on Cheshire Bridge. I was like, "How did I get here?" I look in my DMs on uh, Instagram, and I have a DM from a guy. And he's like, "Hey, I hope you made it home safe. Like, you know, we." put you in an uber last night i said you put me in we a i said who is we i said you put me in an uber from where he was like you passed out in the waffle house he was like and we knew you from your comedy he said we knew you he was like, we know you from your stand-up we recognize you we me and my homeboy we sent you in an uber and your mom put you in the bed but when i say the god has covered me the grace of god the because they could have harmed me the fuck out of here and my mom was like you're <laughs> she was like, it's going nowhere. My I'm a grown-ass woman. And she's like, I was on punishment as an adult. She was like, every time I was leaving the apartment, she was like, um, where you we're going? going. And I'd be like, oh, I'm going here. She'd be like, oh, cool, we're going together. <laughs> she went everywhere with me, I think, for three months after that. Because you can't go nowhere. Because you can't go nowhere. I, and when I say, like, that's why I'm glad that I've lived so when I have children, I know how to handle things. Literally, I was just telling, so me and my aunt sister Erica, we had a time in Panama I City. Like her. Yeah, she's a good, I she's like a good her. woman. She's a good person. We that's why I brought with the church. I was like, Erica mm -hmm. would love this. I knew mm -hmm. she would come with me. And we were talking to my auntie because on the ride, <laughs> we couldn't sleep on because you know how like the sweet spot, if you're not gonna sleep at all, or if you sleep like four hours, you're gonna be tired as fuck. Mm -hmm. But if you sleep two hours, you're gonna be Perfect. great. You're good. Mm -hmm. So we slept that sweet spot. We went to bed at 2 30, woke up 4 30, got mm -hmm. on the bus, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're up. And it was still like nighttime outside, so we it's nighttime now, so we're still in the sleepover mode. Mm -hmm. So we're sniggling and giggling the entire but I kept on accidentally cussing in front of these old people, and I was like, "Fuck!" Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, here See, I go. Yep. But we were reminiscing on Panama City Beach because 2014. Again, here's God's hand. Mm -hmm. We decided that we were going to go to. Appreciate it. Can you give me my sparkling water out my gray bag? It's a can. Thank um, you so much. I appreciate. Thank it. you. We love you, Barbara. Um. So we decided we we're gonna go to Panama. Thank you. And just on some, let's just go. Cause it was an hour and a half from Tallahassee. Okay. So we go to Panama City Beach. We drive up there. We didn't have nowhere to stay. Mm -hmm. We had our other line sisters that were there and they were like, just pull up. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll figure have, it out. We'll figure it out. We've been figuring it out for like three days now. You'll fi we, we're hot. And Shenanigans. We're Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Sh she mm -hmm. nan so, <laughs> she nan I guess. So So you've been to Panama City Beach. Yeah. So yes. you know, you get there, you go to the fucking Walmart. That's mm -hmm. the first stop. So you park your car. Mm -hmm. We parked our car. We just like, okay, we just gonna wing it. We mm -hmm. get out the car. The first niggas we see was the Alphas from Florida State. We love them niggas. We were like, yes! We love <laughs> Florida State Alphas. We yes. done found, we done found the hoes. <laughs> we done found, we done found the hoes. We were so excited. <laughs> first of all, pause, moment of silence. Rest in peace to Abner. Justice for you because we. I don't know what happened. We, can we talk about it after? We can talk about it after, but yeah. he was FSU Alpha. Everybody loved him. He was great. So rest in peace to Abner. Um, but we saw the FSU Alphas. We were like, it's going to be a great fucking weekend. So we saw them and then we walked with them to the beach. They had, that's when niggas had the, um, the liquor backpacks. Mm hmm. The hydration packs. Yes, but they would put straight just Everclear and Kool Aid in it. We were drinking Everclear. I'm sure there's a hole in my liver. I'm sure you could look through it like a fucking hole. Literally, oh it's my just God. like Swiss cheese. So we were drinking. We were having the time of our lives. We get to the beach, drink some more. That was my first time blacking out. And then I remember blacking out on the beach after like flirting and being like, a Greek slit all day on the beach, mm -hmm. having the time of my life. And then we went to Applebee's. I remember coming mm -hmm. to, and we were at Applebee's. We ate at Applebee's. Mm -hmm. And then we went to some kickback in some condo. And our other lines were there, like, look, this is who we've been crashing with, but we can figure it out. I don't know if they have any more room, but if mm -hmm. I meet somebody here. We met somebody there. It was like some random Tuskegee niggas. It was mm -hmm. like, I mean, y'all can stay with us. Don't know this man from a can of paint. Like, from this can, them niggas, we, don't, no mm -hmm. difference. They were like, you can stay with us, but you got to cook us breakfast. So we were like... Okay. Shit, all right. We was awesome breakfast cooking ass bitches. Right. We just did, it was a fair trade, mm -hmm. ginger rolls, whatever. Massage need one that day. So it was like, shit, okay, we go back to Walmart, get the groceries. They offer us a place to sleep. Some nigga from Detroit taught us how to smoke weed on the couch. We slept on the not couch. taught us how to we smoke weed. We had not weed. based that whole day. I was like, I just want 
I feel like Patsy on. Well, I just want to clean my body. <laughs> I just want to be. <laughs> so we we got the groceries. We get there. We sleep. Wake up. We did a shower. It was the best shower of my life. We make that fucking breakfast. I don't even know what I made. I, I made the eggs. I guess mm-hmm. eggs, bacon, toaster, pancakes, Little taters, whatever. Mm-hmm. Y'all got breakfast. We got a place to stay. And we went on our fucking way. Mm-hmm. Unscathed. Do you know how bad that could have been? But it gets worse. <clears throat> Next day, we do it all over again. We get to the beach. More people. Am I going to need a trigger warning? No. Okay. No, I'm just saying more dangerous. Mm-hmm. So I've told this story in the podcast before. I'm sure I have. So the next day, we do it all over again. It's more people on the beach, more drunk, more lit, more whatever. Mm-hmm. We still don't have no way to stay. So mm-hmm. we go back. We meet, uh, go back to the alphas. They have a party. It's lit. They weren't supposed to be having parties. The party gets shut down. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they get kicked out, but it was like, y'all can stay. Mm-hmm. We stay while they're trying to resolve, but they end up getting kicked out for real. They was like, fuck it. We just going to drive back to Tallahassee. We were mm-hmm. like, well, damn, we was going to stay with y'all. So where are we going to stay? Mm-hmm. We decided to go to the Burger King parking lot and just parking lot pimp for a second. Yep. And we met I remember s- just being in parking lot. And it was thick. Oh, we God. met some more niggas who stayed in the same hotel. Like, I mean, y'all can stay with us. We were like, thank you, st- kind strangers. Another HBC. They wasn't no damn kind. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't no damn kind. That's like a pussy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to get to that part. So, guess they were. So, we some random niggas. We go stay with them. I ended up canoodling with one of them. You know, I'd be canoodling. You're supposed to canoodle in Panama I City. I canoodled. We had a good time. Me and my lawn sister, it was, four, it was four of us. We were all on one couch, just minding our business. These young men decided to, I, damn, I didn't say it at the school. But isn't that, I don't know. I don't even think all of them went there. And we could bleep it. We honestly, could bleep it, honestly. Bleep it. But um, they had decided to have group sex with this one girl while we were all there. Did she it. decide to have group sex with Yeah, them? it was not an unconsensual oh, thing. Okay. She was with it. She was like, oh, okay. She was, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> they decide to have consecutive group sex with this young lady. Like uh, like one after the other? Yes. Um, yeah. So she. No, she no that's was, king shaming. Let me stop. She was not. In, 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 Inebriated? She wasn't like. I don't remember Co-horse. her being. Yeah. Like okay. I don't remember them like dragging her to the room or nothing. So it, not my. Not my personal thing. Right. But we were just like. Y'all have fun. We're just trying to stay alive until we can. Go home. Go home. Right. So. That happens, and then that was also the room we were sleeping in. So that was on one bed, and we all slept boot to coot on the next bed. Just like, I just got to I'm not sleeping on the group sex bed, man. <laughs> I'm not sleeping on the train because bed, Because it's dog. already questionable because it's Panama City. It's already bad. They probably just wipe those comforters down with a Clorox wipe and they go They need to go in there with a blowtorch. Like, you know, uh, Stranger Things. They just I mean, they just, remember Bugs Bunny <laughs> cutting the city, cutting the Florida <laughs> off? They just need to cut Panama City and just incinerate it. Oh, my God. But you we, know it's bad because no one's from there. That's, that's how you know it's bad. But the funny thing is, my line sister was from there. But she was like, we, Sorry, friend. We can't get... I mean, I'm to school in Florida, so mm-hmm. people from... All, you, yeah. I learned a new Florida city that I had never heard of mm-hmm. before. But um, she was. But she was like, we can't go to my parents' house right now. It's too late. Mm-hmm. So we're like, we just got to stick it out to the morning and get to my parents' house so we can go home. Mm-hmm. And that's what we did. And girl... I, it's a great story. It was a good time. But I, we could have been harmed. Y'all, no, I listen, so many, so many things have happened to me. I am the dumbest bitch in school. Like, not anymore, <laughs> but just like as a young person, I think I just, ne- I didn't, I didn't really have any regard for my own life. I say all the time, like, I never, at each birthday, I'm surprised I'm still here. So, like, I didn't have a whole bunch of regard for my life. And this is and it. not like I'm up for anything. Like, I'm like a CSI victim. And it was like, she was doing coke, suck dick. She was jumping <laughs> off the roof. It's not that. But just like situations, I'm just like, whatever you know what i'm saying like i just always felt like you know whatever happens happens and i i that's when i say i'm god's favorite people say that as a joke Listen. i'm dead as serious some i lit, literally he quite has, literally his hands <laughs> me, me period do, do, do. when i think about the cover that i have i remember one time let me explain something to you my grandma my paternal grandma the grandmother does not play about weed and alcohol she do not fuck around like that <laughs> at all she might, when she around her sisters, have a, like a half wine cooler. Like she does not play like that. <laughs> I remember one time I was with my friends and we had gotten so high, and we were supposed to go out somewhere else. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna need to go to my nearest family member's house. <laughs> That's how high I was. That I was like, we wherever we were, the ramp to 20 East was right there. And I said, you know, I'm sorry because it was my car, and I'm still very big on. It's my car. We going where I say I'm going. And I have big sister energy. So I'm like, I deem this evening unsafe for us to continue. (laughs) Y'all finna meet my grandmama. Sorry, you're high. (laughs) And 
I we stopped at the Wesley Chapel Kroger parking lot. Oh my and god. And we were because I was like, okay, we roll all the windows down in the car. By the time we get to Decatur, we'll be unhigh. No. So when we got off the exit, I said, okay, we need to pull over. I said, we need to get unhigh fast. And they're like, what's up with your grandma? Like, what's the vibe? You're scaring us. And I'm like, <laughs> like, we need to get on high. We ran, we did laps. We took it back to high school. We ran laps around the Kroger parking lot late at night. We were outside fucking jogging. I don't even do jumping jacks. I was doing jumping jacks. We were <laughs> out there doing the high. fucking kid and play. y'all just eat? We were drinking. We, were at, we went to that McDonald's. We had food. We were drinking water. And that say that high had a hold on <laughs> us. still high. And still high. We pulled up to my grandma's house. In the car, she bought me. And explicitly, she made me sign a contract saying I would not drink or smoke and drive that car. We pulled up in Big Bertha. Are, I ain't never heard of a contract get broke. She, yeah, yeah, broke the contract. She took that car back. It was a big, I called her uh, Big Bertha. I had a red Buick. And I pulled up. All that stuff with your current car. No, okay. I had a red Buick at the time. I pulled up and uh, as the favorite child, you know, all the codes have something to do with me. You know, whatever. So I'm like, I don't need to wake her up to get in the house. So I said, you know, the only thing I need to do is get us to my room and then we'll explain it in the morning. My grandmother usually goes to sleep <laughs> at about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. This is like midnight 30. So I said, I know she sleep. I just know it. I've made it. I've made it. We get in that fucking house. I turn the shit on. I hear the stair creak. I said, run. <laughs> and they were like, run right where? <laughs> they were like, run right where? I said, oh, no, get back in the car. Go, 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 go. So he turned around, trying to get back in the car. And my grandmother was like, Jasmine. What's going on? She said, I just knew something in my spirit. And I said, fuck that damn so spirit. So she said something in her spirit. She said, something in my spirit told me to stay up. She said, I just cannot sleep. I've been pacing all night. I said, I said, listen, I said, listen, listen. I said, I have to explain this to you in the morning. I said, I know I'm going to be in trouble. I'm not going to lie to you. But right now, I'm, we're going to need to go to bed. My grandmother was like, who are these people? <laughs> who are these niggas? <laughs> I said, who are these niggas? I said, please. I felt like I was at a stranger house begging. You I was like, giving Kirk Franklin interlude. <laughs> you thought that Kirk Franklin I was going to have the fucking skits. I said, please, just let us go to sleep. <laughs> ah, I said, oh, my God. I said, we need to go to bed. She was just like, Jasmine, I don't understand what you're doing with your life. I was like, When I was and my friends did not say a word because my grandmother has a little bit of a terrifying presence. And they didn't come from like, Grandma, I haven't asked families. <laughs> so they were just kind of like, they didn't introduce themselves. I don't think my grandmother learned their names until the next time we came back around sober. They were terrified. We slept in my bed like cousins. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother woke me up at 6 a.m. She's like, get up. Get up. She's like, get up now. <laughs> Oh, God. I was in so much trouble. She took the keys to that car. What year was this? How old are you? I, this was my freshman year of college. So I was, oh. this was, no, this this might be my freshman year of the <laughs> yeah, first put semester. Put keys right here, baby girl. She snatched them out my hand because when I got up, I was trying to leave before she left. Nah, buddy. <laughs> you think you're nah. going to wake up earlier than the grandma? <laughs> <laughs> you, nah, you really buddy. Are, huh? Nah, buddy. But I, I do feel comfortable that I have a family that I know that, like, I can just go home. I can always go home. And I love that. And that is me. a privilege, honestly, yeah. because you think about, like, even down to, like, the Krishan and Blueface, that breaks my... It's, like, it's funny, but it's not. It's, 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 it was it funny stopped being a, funny for me. A long time ago. He's ab First of all... He's abusive. And he's, a, he's abusing that girl right out in the open. And we're not... Like, we're the collective we, because, like, we might not be aunties, like, we aunties... At most, we are internet big cousins and big sisters. Yes. He's abusing that girl right out in the open. And then you bitches, you bitches talking about she need to leave, why she ain't leave, clearly she love it there, blah, 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 blah. You can't even fucking tell your nail tech that you don't like your nails. You can't even tell your hairstylist that it upsets you when she hey boo texts you, okay? Your sister been stealing out your fucking closet for 25 years. Now how I get it? And you're, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't said shit but all of a sudden when it come to Krishan and she's clearly being abused and I believe has been a victim of abuse before For most of her all life. of a sudden she's supposed to be the strongest bitch on the motherfucking Girl, planet fuck her you. tooth is missing she is in a bad way and I'm not even being funny she's not doing well and instead of recording her to goddamn layaway at Walmart bitch help tell her and to I, hold that baby and fucking head and I understand head. that people don't want to say things to Krishan because she gives we'll out fight. equal rights and equal lifts 
that's and that's fair. And I, but I would have had to risk my biscuit. I'd have had to risk it. I would have put that baby. four carts in between us and be like, "Hey, Krishan, baby, just real quick, pick that baby's head. head up." So Did you see not too much on Krishan. Not too much. Watch your fucking mouth. She might not be doing the best she can. She doing the best she goddamn know. And that fucking long neck lizard, you bitch, you blue face, you dirty dick nasty, <laughs> you demon from hell. That there that is demon. a motherfucking demon. Dude, you goddamn demon. Is. You release Christian <laughs> right now. And that made his mammy a demon too. And that Stewie. Is a goddamn demon. You too. football headed bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of all you motherfuckers. I hate everybody, I hate there. everybody goddamn involved. And somebody come get them goddamn kids. Get them kids? I don't get them I baby. don't know how to collect Krishan. Put her in the trunk. Something. And shut down Zeus. Zeus? Shut it down. Zeus, I can't wait for the Zeus Hulu documentary. It's gonna be crazy. <sighs> Zeus, I had a dream shut I got into a fight with Jocelyn. Oh, Ooh, she kicked my ass. <laughs> no, she, <didn't. laughs> she beat my ass in that dream. Jocelyn is so fucking strong. Did you see her with all 12 of them police officers trying to hold her down? And she was like, Rah! And you know what? I'm I'm wanna, I want to talk to the Coke dealers. Y'all need to have some discernment about who y'all sell Coke to. <laughs> Stop giving that bitch that Coke. <laughs> Stop handing it to her. You know, you know she be on. She's getting stronger. She just is. She's the Hulk. Just the matter she gets. She's got a vein right here. <laughs> that bitch, mind you, no matter how fat I get, I got a motherfucking one of these. I'm rock solid. Touch it. I'm rock solid right okay, there. Okay, yeah. That bitch got a that that motherfucker. <laughs> her look, muscle got muscles. her muscle got her her arm. She's strong as shit. Her arm looks like a bag the of rocks. Feet, her feet are strong. Are she her feet big? Her calves big. It's a bitch. She's a solid bitch. That's a solid. And bitch her book right is there. at 145 pounds. Shut the fuck up. When no, I say not. these bitches be lying about their weight, ain't no way that big Amazon ass bitch is 145 She's, pounds. It's, it's not that happening. woman. If I that woman has got to be a strong 195. That's a big bitch. She's and she's tall. And it's all she's solid. muscle. She's solid oh as fuck. Um, but yeah, and I also need y'all to stop diagnosing that baby with things. I've seen two different disorders in the past like couple days. Leave that baby alone. And that, it's all nurses from Atlanta saying it. All right. I feel like people just throwing Atlanta and nurse in their bio because it now granted this city's a hellhole, but it's just it can't be that bad. No, um, it, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad. It's so bad. It's they bad. said fetal alcohol uh, syndrome and put the pictures in a side-by-side from these grainy-ass side profiles. Of this baby. The baby look like Rashawn. And if someone were to put a picture of my child next to anything, now she come beat your ass, then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. Um, let's but read some letters. We, can, we, we passed 45 minutes. We have? I got, I got about 18 minutes before I have to leave, though. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. we had a, a letter. We recorded it last time, but I want we want y'all to hear. We already answered the letter. We already emailed this person back. But it is funny, and I want y'all to hear. Not funny. When y'all send us emails, can y'all put some paragraph breaks or something? Can y'all? Sh- this is long as shit. So, basically, what happened? Well, we're going to give y'all the cliff notes version. Okay. This person is a nanny, a male nanny. We can read I, We can read that. You want to read it? And then you can read be the one. This would be the one. Well, I, well, I want to, I'm going to get a clip because I want to read the other letter because I want to answer the other letter. Oh, okay. So basically this person is a, a male nanny and he caught the parents fucking. Punching. And they were purposely leaving and, the door and, open and to. Yes. He was, they were purposely leaving the door open to fuck in front of him mm-hmm. and like kind of open the door to ask him to be a third and just have some kind of weird swinger situation going on. It's messy as fuck. Um, I think once we get our Patreon off the ground, we're going to do like just like. Uh, all the letters will be on Patreon. All the letters will be on Patreon. I'm glad we're saying it here so we can be accountable. So we can so be if accountable. So we don't do it. Y'all need, don't, don't, not too much, but just send us a little email and be like, hey, friends, remember how y'all said y'all was going to put the shit on Patreon? Yeah. So we put the shit on Patreon. Yeah. Um, yes. And also, we're going to try to work on bring, building a team once we like, during our hiatus. But mm-hmm. it's like, if you don't know somebody who knows us in real life, like we don't have no kind of. Yeah. Accountability to know who you are, real non psycho person, mm-hmm. then just, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, so, yes. So, we're going to read this other letter, though, that is new, and I really wanted to read it because I thought it was interesting. Um, so, I'll read it. Is this the, no, this is my what real were you invoice for. This is my email oh. that popped up with like all the inbox. No, nope, wrong email. Sorry, that was. No, you're fine. Why is it still showing is it everything? Mixed up? Is it mixed together? It's mixing all my inboxes, which is Shall annoying. Enjoy? Okay, here we go. So this is called Q Dad, aka Daughter. So I was like, 
course I'm reading this. So it says, hey, Mel and Tally, I want to start by saying I really love the pod and I love y'all perspective and how y'all articulate. It's just chef's kiss. Thank can you. be said on mic, but also can be skipped anyways. My father is a Q that crossed in the 90s, and my mom is an AKA that crossed in the same time frame. I also just crossed in 2021, just for context. As a Gen Z girly, shout out to the nieces. Um, it's always hard to delineate between the good and bad men because, yeah, growing up, I always thought very highly of my dad and assumed he was wholesome. However, as I've gotten older and started having real conversations with my dad, I've come to realize that he is a at least nigga. <laughs> at least he don't cheat. At least he don't hit me, et cetera. That's, a, um, that's one of the, the stand-up jokes. Is that a – I need an at least. Is that a – is that Sher Underwood or Adele Givens? That's a stand-up joke. Yeah, at, least, yeah. at least he ain't – or is that a... Um, is that that was some more? Is, is that, that not some more? And maybe it's a some more? Is it Vanessa Fraction? One of the female comedians are... I think that might be some more. I think. I think. Well, yes. I'm going to look it up because I'm yeah. like, my my comedy came out. Turning, yeah. It's at least. He's at least... He has a redeeming qualities, but for the most part, he is very stuck in his ways and it is quite annoying. For example, my family, mom and dad and me, were having a conversation about Blueface and Krishan and how I feel like he was emotionally abusing her and everything else about how he is a horrible person. He would keep bringing the conversation to how women can mistreat men and whatnot, and while the concern is valid, that ain't what we were talking about, period. Like recently, he will always find a way to turn everything around to women do this, that, and the third, and in my mind, I'm always like, that ain't what we're talking about, though. It just gets very frustrating. At this point, I'm at the crosswords of should I keep calling it out or do I just let it slide? Also, he can lie so well to the point where it's scary and he gaslights like no other. I don't know what to do because I love him and I appreciate our relationship, but certain things I cannot handle. Could you all give me your thoughts? Sincerely, a Gen Z girl with Gen X parents. If you had not said that your daddy was a Q, I'd have been like, do you know? Like, can I have a picture? Because when I say this sound like my daddy, ooh, I'm glad you gave me that I detail. saw a man in uh, Rocksteady the other day that looked just like your daddy. It was probably him. He being Rocksteady? He be with that bitch. Oh, I didn't say with no young bitch, though. He, she was probably in there. She be in the corner like this. I, I think if it was your daddy, he would have noticed me. Not that your daddy would have been like, yeah. Yeah. but I feel like he would at least been like, don't he I know this bitch doing young shit now, honestly. Like, he did. Maybe. Maybe. It probably was him. It could have been. If I if I was in a mood to talk to him, I would ask, but I'm all set. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, so, listen, okay, so there are several things to this. First of all, um, you come to a point where you start seeing that your dad is a nigga, right? Yeah. We talk about that line from Insecure, like dads and niggas too. Mm. You, you, that, that veil kind of gets broken down. It's like, oh, my mm -hmm. mom just fucked some dude and I'm here. Oh. And he's just some dude. He's just this guy. He's just, the, he's just a guy. Like, yeah. And you have to kind of not give him grace because men are terrible, but it's just like you kind of got to understand that, you know? For your own mental health? For your own mental health, yeah. And then there's a, it's your dad, right? For me, because my dad is no longer here, it's like I'm having that realization with also... Because, like, when people die, you put them on that pedestal mm -hmm. and they can do no wrong. But, like, now I'm getting older. Like, I wonder what my dad would have said about this Tory Lane mm -hmm. shit. Or what would my dad be on the R. Kelly? You know, like, I, he's not here for me to argue and bicker with. Mm -hmm. But it's like, dang, I wonder what he would think. And, like, would I cancel my dad? Like, you, you got to kind of think about how, we, how we've eliminated a lot of the men in our lives, mm -hmm. right? Like, whether it be romantic, platonic, or whatever, because niggas been showing their ass mm -hmm. this whole thing. And your dad might be one of them niggas. He, my dad is. And, right. like, I, I love him as, mu as much as circumstances will allow um after we've had several talking points about certain things where i've just had to quiet cancel him like i because i'm not going to keep going back and forth with you you just he's not going to his goal is not to understand and change and that's he wants very to sad up at best. but he's committed to his ideals and you keep throwing yourself up against that wall if you want to i did it for a long time but um Stop engaging him about things. You know where he stands on it. You know, Honestly. you know how he feels. Stop, and don't let him bait you about it. Cause that's what my dad will do. Like my dad will bring up before, even like for before I was out. My I used my dad used to call me a bleeding heart, like about that gay shit, right? Like mm -hmm. anytime like anything negative was said about you know the community, I'd be like, hey, cause you fucking not. And I never really like went off the wall trying to like educate, but I'm just like stop. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not mm -hmm. nice. And um. He used to purposely bring up shit around me. I remember one of the last mm -hmm. times was uh, P Valley, and I was watching P Valley uh, with my little yeah at the time, and he kept trying to start a conversation about Lil Murda and um, uh, Uncle Clifford. Uncle Clifford, and I had to just be like, "Yep, mm-hmm, 
we're watching the show because what do you, what, and I notice men do that in general like uh, even with my guy friends it would be this one nigga anytime I post any kind of like soapboxy social justice shit on you always reply because you want to argue with me I, I ain't arguing I'll with tell you, you right now we don't care <laughs> we don't care leave me the fuck alone like I had to finally block him because like I'm not going to do this with you every time but it's mm-hmm. like or even like guy friends once you become the like the the person that they're not gonna be contrarian on honestly contrarian but like on the right side of history mm-hmm. to whatever they say they get a kick out of it. I would just talk to my friends like, oh Mel, you left the group chat. I don't want to talk to you, nigga. I don't want to talk to you because y'all. y'all come in here and you bait me and you be willfully obtuse just because you want to engage mm-hmm. and you want to argue. I'm not doing this shit with right. y'all. Men think that shit is fun or even they're life ruiners. They ruin people's lives. Like it's just <laughs> yes. it's just it's just this girl Reg- math shit. Regina. Jo- Anything we have that's fucking fun and silly and we're just having a good time. And it's like, we know it's dumb. That's why we're having fun. Men who can't save up a goddamn first month's rent, last month's rent, and security deposits. Sitting Listen. on the internet talking shit to women about financial literacy because girl math made you upset because women are enjoying things. Go to fucking hell, man. It's the most innocent shit. It's so cute and innocent. And here come these bitches. You hoes don't know shit about numbers. Uh-uh. Y'all don't know, man. I can do fucking calculus in my sleep. Girl, fuck you. fuck you. And then you bitches Shut jumping up. On the bandwagon too. I saw a tweet today. I really had to like watch my tongue because I don't think that she was being nasty. It was just like shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like I made the tweet about girl math. Essentially, what I just said just now, and she's like, I can't help but think of math as regular math because I am and something about economics and I'm a rocket scientist and I just girl, girl shut, shut the fuck up. You know we, the point that I'm trying to make. We don't give a we don't fuck. give a fuck and that's about I, that's that because thing. and if you are in economics, you should understand the concept of why girl math makes sense. To women, you should because it's all investing in yourself. It's all like moving money around. It's all like this money comes from here, this money comes from that. I put it on afterpay. It is when you break it down, financial literacy. If you really want to get into it, so yo ass. But we're making it fun. We're making it fun, and yo ass. All these men are having these horrible negative points about it. Here you come. I'm an economics genius. I want to make Arthur Grant for <laughs> money, and I'm so good at numbers. And they gave me the Presidential Medal of Freedom for knowing how to do math. Girl, fuck you. Shut, Shut up. your ass up. Shut up. Why to give a fuck that you know numbers? Fuck you and them equations, bitch. Damn. I had when a bitch come in my tweet with some other off the wash. That's not what I said. Pythagoras, get your ass the fuck out of here. I was complaining here. the other day. I bought a box of Lucky Charms last Monday from Publix because I, sometimes I just like get me some some childish ass. That's just dog food with marshmallows in it. And you know what? It wasn't enough goddamn marshmallows. I was mad about it, but you know what? Okay. I I made my cereal. I got pee. I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I had three bowls, and it was gone. Mm. And I tweeted like you know we, I was talking about shrinkflation. Mm-hmm. You know you replied mm-hmm. to the tweet, mm-hmm. and like that's the real problem is that they're charging more for less. For less, niggas. Well, how big was your bowl? You had a big ass bowl, didn't it? Shut the fuck up. We're dying. These people are fucking killing us, and mm-hmm. inflation is going to be the death of us for real. Rent is five thousand dollars for a two square foot apartment. Shut the fuck up. I want men to stop talking to me on the internet, just like straight up. And I hate I hate that it's come to that because I'm already the man hating bitch, which. I stand Fine. firm in it. All ten toes in the set. Like I'm in it, but like, just stop talking to me. Like if you're not finna kiki, if you're not ha- finna have, a, if you're not gonna be a girl's girl, like as a man, if you're not gonna be a girl's girl, don't fucking talk to me. It's really okay not to speak to me. And just like leave me alone. I tweeted, and here's the thing: I, I posted my thirst trap because I wanted to, you know, like, I, like just let y'all know I got that shit on me, you know. Mm-hmm. But now I keep my thigh on me, per. But now I can't even be normal because y'all Girl, are being weird. a little weird. Duval joke. Ew, gross. I can't believe I did that. Ew. Gross. So I have these amazing Shrek Crocs. And I do apologize to you, Tally, because so I did not cute. initially like them. But they're so ridiculous. I think I just had to have them for Here's my Here's why she's apologizing. We love Crocs. We, we send do. Crocs back and, and forth. And we love Shrek. And we love Shrek. And I sent her the Shrek Crocs when I saw that they were available. I'm exaggerating, but she called me everything but a child of God and told me that and I was, I was like, a this is so like I'm like I draw the line here. This is kind of dumb. But then that boy asked me. He was like, do you want these? And I was like, well, now I'm not having to pay for them. So. Girl math. Girl math. So <laughs> if he buys them, I got some mm-hmm. free Crocs. Mm-hmm. So I got the Crocs. And they were Do fun. the ears come off? Or are they They're, re- they're the charms. I think they come off, but I'm not going to. I may break it. Let but it, up, it, yeah, these are charms, right? Side. Yeah, they come off. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I got the Crocs. I'm showing everyone my Crocs. Mm-hmm. I'm having fun. I, the video I sent to the group, mm-hmm. like with me doing the heel toe and shit. Mm-hmm. Somebody was like, yeah, the, the heel toe with the yams yamming. Um, greater than, greater than, greater than. 
I'm just trying to show y'all my cartoon character Crocs. Can you niggas relax? Relax for I'm just I'm convinced that niggas don't get second. no pussy for they real. They don't, and that's why they like, act the way they But also, the girls don't have friends for real, and that's why they act the way they act. And I'm just doing the really uh, analysis. Like, you bitches are lame. Oh, I want you motherfuckers away from me. Like, I'm, I'm quite comfortable. I remember in 2021, I tweeted that I wasn't taking no new dicks, and I pretty much stood by that. Um, you, and I think I'm going to extend that to not really, like... Making a point to make any new friends. Like, I think I'm okay. I love Because last time I made a friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I think I'm just, I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm just have to work on the yeah. friendships I have. And I've been doing a good job of, like, hanging with my different friends this mm-hmm. year. Because these bitches are weird. I may, like, if, if my new friends aren't Beyonce, Issa Rae, Meg. Quinta, or Meg The Stallion. Yeah. I kind of don't have room for no new bitches. And y'all bitches suck. Like, maybe my Twitter friends, the mutuals that are normal. Yeah. A yeah, couple of y'all, that's okay. but it's like I need a friend I can go to the club with. I need a friend I can, you know, like you have different friends that you can do for different shit with. But it's like it's getting kind of weird. It's getting weird out here. It's getting real weird. <sighs> but, um, we can I'm wrap gonna, up. Yeah, I have to pee so bad. It's crazy. Honestly, okay, we love y'all. We'll see y'all soon. Yes. We're working like, on things. Follow, to, subscribe, share the podcast. I yeah, say it at the beginning. We're growing, y'all. Things are going so well. Thank we you for all the love. Growing. Again, thank you to Stage Crew for coming to support. Stage with, Crew, with, Angel. I don't know what Angel stands are called, but Angel Crew, y'all pulled we'll up. We call to them the Angels. Heaven, y'all pulled up for thank us. You, thank um, you, the cherubs. We, Sure. Yeah. The cherubs. Yeah. We love y'all so much. Yeah. Um, y'all stay tuned and bye. And y'all need to pick y'all hive name too. Bye. Bye. Jokers. Bye. Bye. bye.